Hey guys, Deathmog91 here. So, I'm back for some more Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, so, I'm going to call uh, Ramon up for a job. Okay, so, adios. Or Roman. Okay. <laughs> Now, I think there was a trophy, if I remember correctly, or an achievement. Uh, if you got... What was it? Complete... Uh, unlock the special ability of taxi. I think you had to... Do, for that one, you had to just go through and do so many taxi missions. So, this is just going to be kind of a chill episode... Driving around taxis and whatnot. Probably I might do a little bit of the campaign. But while I'm here, I may as well. So, today was pretty chill. I ended up going to work. Uh, it's Senior Citizen Wednesday, which can be really a crazy day. But today was chill, I mean, for the most part. Yeah, I mean, usually, uh, we end up having probably three or four thousand customers in a four to five hour period. We had maybe, uh, damn it, my cat wants, I think he wants to come in. <laughs> well, let me see. You want to come in? Okay. Yeah, my cat wanted in my room, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so we had maybe, I'd say, probably 2,000, maybe 3,000 customers in the day. So, I mean, we had about, but this was only like a six-hour shift, so it was a bit more split up. <sighs> My cat wants attention. It's like, boy, I'm trying to record. I'll let you in and ch chill on air, but still, it's like, come on, let me do what I gotta do. Uh, it's like 1 a.m. again. I don't know why, but I always seem to record late at night. So, yeah, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna do another kind of short episode. So, main reason for that is just because render time, I don't want to have it. Re taking forever to render out if you know what I mean well anybody that does this knows exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> okay well, like I said I'm just gonna end up calling him doing the jobs not really continue the campaign Okay. Boy, relax. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Uh, I can't wait to. I can't wait for packs to pop up around. I'm planning on going again. It was a lot of fun last year. Uh, I might try to go to the New York, not New York, New Ve uh, Las Vegas convention. Uh, that they had, because that's just a couple hours away. Well, it's like six hours away by car, so it wouldn't be too bad. And I know I could get up there pretty easily. So, I might end up doing that. Uh, but I gotta see what how my money situation is looking if I'm gonna do that. I won't hit up the port. I'm depending on, like I said, uh... I might end up trying to hit the, hit up the Portland uh, convention, but it all depends on how much cash I have. Because I don't make so much cash in a year, so I can only afford to do like one or two big trips throughout the year. Uh, but yeah. Yep. 
Uh, I don't know. Oops, hit the wrong one. Uh, but yeah, so... When I find out and I get my tickets and everything, I'll let you guys know where I'm going to be going. If you guys are going to any of these events, definitely just stop by. You know, you see me, stop by, say hi. Definitely, you know, as long as I'm not busy or something, it's like, I'll go, we can chat or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, well, I just hit that guy. <laughs> Whatever, like I said, this is just going to be one of those chill episodes where you're just going to fuck around, but not do anything too stupid. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't know. I've been, well, I'm working a lot. I thought I was off Friday, but turns out I'm off Saturday. Not that big of a deal. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually can't wait for Valentine's Day. Now you're thinking... Who's the chick that I'm gonna I can't wait for Valentine's Day for? Actually that's not it. I can't wait to see fucking Die Hard 5. I've been a big Die Hard fan for a long time. I have a well, kind of a collector set uh, not a collector set, but just like special collector's box of Die Hard 1 through 4 on Blu-ray which I have found again since I picked it up. But yeah, <laughs> stupid AI. Uh, but yeah, so I guess this guy's in a hurry. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> well, hell, while I'm here, I'm just gonna do that. Obviously, I don't have enough speed to do the jump fully, and I'm think I'm gonna hit that. Yep. <laughs> hey, this guy is getting violent, so I could go through and pop a cap in his ass if I needed to. Which, there, I think I still have a gun. Yep, I do. Uh, but yeah, that's whatever. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm trying to, I want to try to get it set up where I can do a, I can have a video up a day. I've got one video I've got to go through and edit a little bit. Uh, I ended up playing Dust 514 in the beta, so if you haven't seen the game before and want to know what the hell it's about, that should be up in a couple days. Uh, well, depending on where I... It might be up before this video. Okay, now that guy's an asshole. He hit me. <laughs> but yeah. So, you know what I'm going to do? Because I got a gun and I'm pissed off at this guy. Ye Get the fuck out of here. There's a cop too and the cop didn't do shit. Wow. This is pretty sad when there's a cop right behind you. And a cop won't do shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's kind of convenient that I was already going the right way. Ah, uh, but yeah. So... I don't know. Tomorrow should be pretty chill. I've got to work till, uh, I think like six six forty five again, maybe seven ish. That isn't that late. But yeah, anybody who has to work knows exactly what I mean by it's not gonna, it's not too late working till like six seven o'clock in that at night. Now if it would have been like eleven o'clock midnight, it's like shit. That would suck. But yeah, so... I don't know. I just felt like fucking around doing these... I uh, Just taking it easy. Because I wasn't even sure if I was going to record, so... Honestly, this was one of those episodes you can skip it. But you'll miss some audio. 
And unless I get into a chase or something. I don't mind if you guys want to complain. That's like, wait, why didn't, why am I just doing this? Pay the toll. <laughs> Can't believe five bucks has a toll. That's fucked up. Ah, uh, but yeah. So, let's see. I really don't, there's no games coming out for a while that I'm really looking forward to picking up. Except for Grand Theft Auto V. That's the only game I have on my must pick up list. And there's a game on the Wii U, which, to be honest, I want to pick it up. But I don't own a Wii U, and I know I can get... Uh, it's going to be one of the Shin Megumi, uh, Megumi Tension games. Now, if you have ever played any, like, the Persona games, Demon Saga, or Digital Devil Saga, uh... Just any game by Atlas, well, any of those kind of games, you'll know exactly how the game's going to be. The games are fun. It's a great JRPG, which is just a Japanese RPG, which, if you don't know what RPG stands for, that's a role-playing game. Uh, just think of, like, Final Fantasy, uh, not Mystic Quest... Yeah, Mystic Quest was Final Fantasy. Uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Amazing game. Uh, if I get a dazzle or I figure out how the fuck to keep this thing recording constantly. Where it's n not going to cut me out. Then yeah, I'll go through and do, uh, try it again. I'll go through and record it like that. But yeah. So there's that. Uh, so I've been playing Dot Hack. I haven't even passed the first dungeon. Every, unfortunately, this is one of those games that, uh, you get to the dungeon, and if you're under leveled, even if you're leveling up in there, you still still have a good chance of dying. So yeah, just have that noted. The game is hard at the beginning. It does get easier after you finally get leveled up because you, unfortunately, you start off at level one. There's not a lot of RPGs uh, that start you off at level one. And I kind of hate that aspect about the game. But the nice thing is once you start off on, uh, once you get to the second and third part, uh, you end up going through and getting to... Uh, you'll, you won't be at level 1 at least. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I don't like the aspect of having to start at level 1. And, it's funny, uh, Pokemon. Now you're thinking, wait, why the fuck am I talking about Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon ended up being an RPG. Which, honestly, I never thought of it as an RPG until recently. When it's like everybody that I kind of I talked to about the game that is a hardcore gamer uh it's like yeah it's an RPG it's like really I thought it was always more like an action adventure uh kind of game I never really thought that of this game as like an RPG but that's just me uh you know how that goes everybody has different opinions and oh fuck Okay. Well, move. Since I've already gone through and I've already got a one star, hell, I'm just gonna go go through and not pay. Fuck. Thank God, one star. You don't have to go too far to get it out of it. Ah, damn it. Yeah. And this guy's staying in the back of the car. It's like, shit. And I'm still going to get him to his destination. <laughs> this guy must be like, what the fuck's going on? And I just ran over a guy. And yeah. 
if this was if I was ever in a cab like this, I'd be like, "Stop! Let me get the fuck out of here." Cause not only I mean, look how I'm driving. Uh, I hit a cop, so there's a hit and run. I went through and hit a random guy. I drove through some garbage. Yeah, I don't know how the hell this guy would have his how the hell he would have his job. So yeah, there's that. Uh, but yeah, I think after I'm done with this episode, I'll go through and I'll actually complete. I'll go through and actually do some uh, more of the campaign. But yeah. So, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to... Th <laughs> okay, I'm tired of hearing him bullshit. So it's like, okay. <laughs> well, how the hell... Have I haven't I haven't gone to jail in this episode yet, or gotten more than one star? I mean, let's see. I've got reckless driving, uh, assault with the deadly weapon. This car is getting fucked up by the minute. But yeah, oh, uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm driving in the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys, let's see. We're, I'm planning on moving later on in the summer. Once I do, because I'll, once I'm done, I've got my room how I need it, or want it. I'll probably go through and do a tour of my room. Well, my game room. Because, you know how that goes. I have a shit ton of games. And you'd be surprised, really, at how many games I've got. If you think, you know, okay, you've got, you know, maybe 10 to 20 games. Okay, you got a good collection, but you don't have, you know, like, oh my god. Yeah, think of having about a couple hundred games. I, honestly, I love being able to buy games next to nothing. I try not to spend over $2 a game unless the game is worth it or it's rare and I'm not and I know I'm gonna have a hard time finding the game again so yeah I mean hell the dot hack series I w as of right now I wouldn't pay full value on the series again uh, but yeah I would pay quite a bit of money to have it complete, to have it an extra complete copy. I think I would end up spending probably for the first four one fifty, which is about uh anywhere from fifty dollars, depending on how badly somebody needs money, fifty to maybe a hundred and fifty, because you'll see them on eBay for the first four. Anywhere from, uh, what is it, uh, $200 roughly to, uh, 300 maybe 4 depending on how badly somebody wants something. Uh, but yeah, that's just for the first four. Then, you're looking at, like, another, uh, 125 to 150 for the other set so if you can find all of them for under 300 bucks I would say you did good but at the same time I'd say you po probably could have got a little bit cheaper except for uh, all the GU's are I have never found under 30 bucks I paid retail at GameStop I I'm not afraid to admit it because this is one of those things that, uh, the that's just how rare the game is that I'm willing to spend retail, and I never spend retail on anything if I don't have to, or if I haven't. I mean, the last thing I really spent retail on, I'm gotta 
pretty good deal on was the Final Fantasy Mystic Quest 2, 3, and Final Fantasy for, well, that was for all for the Super Nintendo, Final Fantasy for the NES, and Final Fantasy XI new in box, except the hard drive had to be open, because it ended up going into a pawn shop, and the pawn shop just needed to verify that the item was still in there. Well, that it was a hard drive that was supposed to be in there. And to find a complete Final Fantasy XI complete in box, it's not cheap. I mean, you're going to spend 70 to to $100, but that's used. This The game was still new. The hard drive, I haven't even touched. I The hard drive is new. I mean, it's one of those things... I know the seller, so I know what I'm getting. Uh, but yeah, honestly, that that's w one of the things I would pay retail on. Final Fantasy, Super Mario RPG. Um, I wouldn't want to pay retail on Earthbound because that's just getting too insane. A little Samson, I never actually owned and I would not want to pay retail I'd rather wait till I find it out in the wild just because it's that rare of a game it's been going up for anywhere from four to six hundred dollars the game is expensive and honestly I would love to find it one game I'm holding up. I want to sell it now, but I kind of want to hold on to it. Because games that, that have been at like this price range, you know, within the last couple of years, have been jumping up in price. A um, good example is actually, surprisingly, Earthbound. Earthbound, about two or three years ago, only went for 70 80 bucks. So, I mean, that's, and that's just for the cartridge. Uh, but yeah, for the, uh, for complete in box, it was still like 150. Yeah, uh, but now Earthbound goes for anywhere from like 160 to like 225, 240-ish for the cartridge alone. So, it's like if you, you'd be surprised at how many people uh, probably won't have this game. It was one of those games that was re uh, released a little late. It was right before the Nintendo 64 came out, but it was after the Virtual Boy came out. So, there's that. Now, the Virtual Boy itself sucks. To be honest, I've actually been looking at bu it sucks, and yet I'm looking at buying a co uh, buying one. I found a Japanese uh, site that has one for 180 complete in box. I need to get in contact with a couple people uh, that have bought them in the past, and truthfully, see what they think if it's a good deal or not, because. It's one of those things that it's pretty hard to come complete in box. I know the Pawn Star guys apparently got one in and they wanted like $500 for it, which honestly, I wouldn't pay nowhere near because you can get that on average without, you know, without all the hookups and everything. And if you don't know what the hell it is, you can find them for like. Uh, if they don't know what it is, you can get it for like five, ten bucks. Think I don't know. I never knew what this was. All I know is I found it at a yard sale, and I thought it was kind of. My son asked me to buy it or something. But yeah, truthfully, you just never know what you're gonna find. Now I don't know if I mentioned this in my last episode of Grand Theft Auto because that was actually the last video I recorded. Uh, I ended up finding a. Season 1 of both Bones and 
Big Bang Theory. Toy Story 1. These are all on DVD, unfortunately. I'd prefer Blu-ray, personally, but that's just me. Um, that and... What was it? Uh, and... Lego Batman on the PSP for 10 bucks. So, if I had said that in my last video, uh, whatever, you know, I can't remember. But, yeah. Uh, still. Okay, I'm probably gonna call it an episode after this. Just because I'm looking at time-wise, it's about 26 minutes in. And the good thing is, this shouldn't take too much longer to finish this part up. And then I can go through and start another recording and actually start with the uh, continue with the campaign but yeah let's just say this is one of those kind of bonus episodes that it's nice to see every once in a while just to have something kind of chill but you don't need to have it okay so now before I go through I feel like Jack in a car Get the fuck out of the car. I'm taking it, motherfucker. Well, I need to be jacking and shooting the car. Okay, guys. Well, if you guys like the commentary and everything, if you like just this kind of a chill episode, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and YOLO.